welcome back. So I'm getting on right now with my, my wee fly box now. So some of these patterns will have already seen on the channel. So we've got the Thunder Shrimp and so on so on and JD Special and that one there, the Wilkinson, but I'll maybe tie that in a, in a size 12 do a wee video on that. And this is another one that I wouldn't be without in my box. And that's a, a Bond Special. Now, the hook in the vase is a Partridge Patriot double in black nickel and size 10. I'm just going to use a uni 380 to white to tie the flag because I like to tie the Bond Special with a wee hat head on it. So we're just going to get our thread started. So we can remove the waist tag of thread. Now the, the tag and the rib on both the rear and the front body can either be silver, oval, tinsel, or in this case I'm using a, a gold. Now I'm just going to work my thread down. Tying in the gold oval, oh, sorry, the gold oval tinsel. Just down until I'm sort of way past the points of the hooks from the thread. And then I'm coming round with four turns of the oval gold tinsel. Bring that in between the two hooks. And then we'll just catch that in. Just locks in your tag. We'll trim away the waist. Now the tail. You can just use a natural golden pheasant breast. But I like it. I like the bond special with an orange. Now, this is the rump feller. Some people shy away from using this, but I like the rump. I like to use the rump feathers times. So we're just going to offer this up to the hook. Just come around with a couple of turns. And fold the tip back. A couple of turns over the top now. Just bring my thread up out of the way. Give me a bit of room to work. Come on. Trim away the tip. And then I'm just going to stroke these fibers back. And come around. Probably get about a turn and a half, maybe two if we're lucky. Of the rump feller. hard to get golden pheasant these days so using up the rump fellers will allow you to you know get value if you've got any of the skins left. Now I'm just going to come around I'm just going to catch in. I'm coming onto the stem there you see but I don't want the I don't want the bulkiness of the stem to be in the pattern so I like to take my time here at this point just catching that in and then quickly running my thread forward trying to keep the stem on sort of way top of the shank of the hook and that will strengthen the fly then I'm going to come in with my brush my toothbrush and brush everything back Don't worry about a tail at this, at this moment in time. We're going to get that sorted out in a moment. We're going to go back to our oval gold tinsel. Catch this in underneath. Now, on the way down, we're just going to hold everything back and work our, work our thread down. Now, there's a couple of wee favours. Just come in and check where you are with those if they want to go forward. If I had it tied in, if I had it took that other turn, you would have seen the stem. There's nothing wrong with that because sometimes when you get your your breast fellers, you want that extra turn. You're going to take it onto the stem. But it's just a, if you want to stop that, that's how I do it. The body, you're looking at a Yawa, uh Uni Floss or something like that. I've started using the Glow Bright Floss number 10 from my Bond Specials. Just to make it a wee bit brighter at the back. I'll just take a single strand. Just double it over. Clip away the, the loop. Come in. Then just pull that into the, the length that I want. And then just work my thread forward. Nice and tight. 
and we're just going to come up with our blow bright. Just in fairly close touching turns, or just over slightly overlapping at times as well. Just to there. Follow that around with her thread. A couple of tight turns. Throw away the waist. Then I'm be good. Three turns on the rear body. Follow this around with the thread. We'll catch that in and we'll come in and trim away the oval gold tinsel, the excess of it anyway. Now the mint haggle, you're looking at an orange haggle. This is just a cheap Indian cock cape that I have had geez, a long time, but I dyed it a, a hot orange dye. So I'm just looking to get off a nice, usually have this sort of ready so that I'm not faffing about trying to get a haggle but I've got one there. Right, just going to stroke back the fibres just to reveal the tip. Offer this up to the hook, just come around with a turn then come in and flip back the tip of the haggle. Just take your thread turns back up over the tip and the haggle itself, then you can come in and break away the tip. I'm just going to come in with my scissors. Just take your scissors up the stem. Now somebody was asking me the other day about this. Just use the, see the edge of your scissors, see where the orange, some of the dust is coming off the feather. Just, and if you hear that noise, that's your haggles there, that's them being pushed back. Then I'm just going to come around, probably with about three turns of the the cock haggle. If this was a hand haggle, I would probably only be looking to take two. That's going to do me there. I'm just going to catch this off in underneath. A couple of nice tight turns now. I'll do this with nearly all the, the shrimp patterns that I tie. I just want to make sure, some people might say I could just trim it off, but I want the fly to last. I don't want it to fall to pieces. Yeah. Just work my thread forward the length of the <coughs> front part of the body. Then we'll just come in and fix our haggle back. Then we'll go back to our oval gold tinsel. Catch that in underneath. And work our thread back down now. When I get closer to the mid haggle, I'll just come in here with my finger and thumb. Just keep everything back and work the the thread down tight up against the haggle. And as you can see there, it's not on it, it's just tied up against it. The front body. We're looking some unique floss and black. Now if you were using a black thread, you could just bring up your oval gold or silver tinsel, whatever you decide to use now. I'm just going to bring that into length and then work my thread forward. And then we'll come up with our floss, much like the tail, always have a wee check. See what it's like on the mid haggle, and then just overlapping turns of the floss to create the front body. A couple of turns to secure that. Come in and trim away the floss. Then come up with your oval gold tinsel, much like the rear body. Three turns should be plenty to protect the floss. Catch that in, trim that away. Then the front haggle, you're gonna. This is a bodger, this is a saddle. <coughs> um, but just a, a bodger haggle for the front, so I'm just gonna take away the rubbish from the bottom. Now, the fibers are right and short on this wee haggle, which we gonna. So I'm gonna have to come down. 
be about there. They get the length of fibres that I want. So I'm just going to come around with a turn and fold the tip back nice and tight. Break away the tip. I'm going to bend with my scissors. to sit back for me and then I'm probably looking two turns of this maximum to get a little candy here yep it's going to do me there I'm just going to catch off the hackle underneath nice and tight I'm just going to come in and trim this away now at this point Hey, we're we're looking the we're looking the bee's knees. Just tidy up at the front for the jungle cock. There is jungle cock in the in the pattern. Hey, not to say that it needs it. But this is the bond special is just one of those Irish shrimp patterns that genuinely wouldn't be without now. That's our two eyes. Just want to bring back the the rubbish. Stuff for these up to the to the hook. Just gonna come round. These are just a couple of loose turns. Just to see what way we're sitting. Just gonna check the length. Now, this one's a wee bit too long, so just pulling that in. Yep, I'm happy enough with that now, so I'm just gonna hold the jungle cock eyes, take another turn to secure, and then just come in. Just whip all this back nice and tight with the turns of thread. Keep them with thread tight, they should be able to break away the, the stems. I'm not going to let the thread go, just going to keep it as tight as I can and throw on a whip finish. Turn away the tan thread. <coughs> now, I said at the start, I want to. I want this to be a hot head. So I'm just going to come in with some glow bright floss now. What I like to do with the glow bright floss, because this is a new spool, I like to run it through the wax and then take my fingers through the glow bright floss. So this is the glow bright floss 4 that we're going to use for the head. Like I say, the, the band special, just as originally, just a tie with black thread. So it could just be, quite as easily, just be a black head on this wee fly. Then we're just going to come in with our whip finishing tool. And just brighten up the head with our whip finish. Put the floss nice and tight, trim away, glue bright floss. Then I just want to come in for a for glue and varnish, take off the excess wax. First coat on the head, guys, we drop a super glue. Now I'm sure that you will have seen this tied before on YouTube. I think I might even have done it as one of the first videos that I tied from my channel when I first started it off. Um, but there you go, that's the that's the balance special. You know, I suppose it's a, a variant because we've used a, a, a an orange rump. GP rump. It's a dark rump fellers. And we've put on a, a hot head. But honestly, this is one fly that I just would not be without my box. It's the Bond Special. So, if you fish for Atlantic salmon, um, tie one of those up, have one in your box. It's genuinely well worth it. And um, all being well, I'll catch us on the next one. <laughs>